Local leaders and community members welcomed One Vision Aviation during an official ribbon cutting October 25, 2019. Salina Airport Authority Executive Director Tim Rogers anticipates the aircraft maintenance company will expand in the coming years. The only limit to this business opportunity is the size of the building that we have now, and it will soon fill up. One Vision Aviation CEO Jimmy Sponder is optimistic about the future for his company in Salina. Everybody with a One Vision shoe, shirt on, and soon have a One Vision shirt on, it's up to us. And I think, I think what we got here, we're going to make it. I know we're going to make it. Make it great. Skeeto Executive Director Mitch Robinson said the company already has 30 employees working in Salina. We're excited about this opportunity. They've got a little over 30 people working here now, and they think uh, by the end of the year that'll be in well in excess of 50, close to maybe 100 people. Uh, A&P mechanics are what they're looking for, so it's specially trained individuals that know about uh, airframes, power plant, how to work on aircraft. And uh, we're excited about the impact it'll have on Solana and, and the airport authority. Mayor Trent Davis welcomed the company's workers to Salina and encouraged the community to make them feel at home. And after about a year, you're going to probably forget that the reason you came here is for the job. You're going to say, well, no, Salina's just a great place to live. To all of our Salinans out here in the crowd, I'll challenge all 47,000 of us to embrace the new management and employees. And after their long 12-hour shift, they are the long shift, when they do get on, make sure that they can now be part of this community, not just people working here and, and you know, nothing to contribute you know, to our arts and entertainment and, and everything else that we do. If they have a problem, point them to, to the right person. Senator Jerry Moran also congratulated One Vision Aviation for its decision to begin operations in Salina. So, congratulations to you and your decision to be here. Uh, while I wouldn't expect you to believe anybody that works in Washington, D.C., I would tell you, knowing that I have no credibility, uh, you have made a great decision, and uh, this community will welcome you with open arms. Moran says he remains committed to supporting rural Kansas. The primary motivation that I've had in asking you to give me the chance to represent you in the nation's capital is a belief in rural America. What we have in Kansas and what we have in Salina, Kansas, is something that we need to take every step to preserve and protect. And that means we need to grow and bring new people to our town and create jobs. In many ways, it's called the American dream. And I want to make certain that the American dream is alive and well in rural America, in rural Kansas. The following presentation contains the complete speeches of local leaders during the welcoming ceremony for One Vision Aviation. Greetings and greetings and... Uh good tales and good stories, but uh, we do have a schedule that we need to keep uh, today, this afternoon, for a really momentous occasion, and that is a ribbon cutting and welcoming uh, One Vision Aviation to Salina, Kansas, Saline County, to the state of Kansas. You see behind you the aircraft that they, and this the One Vision team, the work that they're bringing to our community, to our state. Uh, Pretty good example of you know what you'll see a full hanger of in the weeks and months to come uh, as one vision you know, hire staff and uh, bring us folks on board and as they uh, ramp up their operations here at the Salina Regional Airport. I'm Tim Rogers, the executive director for the Salina Airport Authority. Welcome everybody here. I encourage everybody to come up close and uh, don't be afraid. We have uh, some distinguished speakers this morning you know, with some remarks. Leading us off this morning will be uh, uh, Salina Mayor, Dr. Trent Davis, um, and we're very pleased to have with us also uh, uh, U.S. Senator Jerry Moran, who uh, really has uh, been on an aviation tour this week in Kansas and Park, and so uh, Jerry, thanks for joining us. And then we'll be, uh, you'll have the, the pleasure of meeting President and CEO of One Vision Aviation, Jim Sponder, as, uh, as we move ahead here. So with that, uh, Dr. Davis. I think I'm about ready to forget half of what I was going to say. I feel like a little kid in a toy store. 
planes around it. It just really makes it personal and up, up close uh, to see that a dream actually does come true. And the personal part is you'll probably be flying on one of these planes one of these days. So it's nice to know that somebody close to us uh, made it airworthy and quite safe. Mr. Sponder, I lost you in the crowd. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Salon. And Senator Moran, thank you for Mayor. coming out to your home state and uh, greeting us. And a big welcome uh, to the new employees who are over here. All right. Welcome to, to Salina. Sometimes when you're going down the interstate, you really can't tell what's on the other side of that sign that says Salina two miles, Salina three miles. And most people never get a chance to see what's in the town. I think the longer you hear, you're going to see that the restaurants, the schools, the parks, sports, uh, I guess we can advertise bars, uh, make this a really great place to live. And after about a year, you're going to probably forget that the reason you came here is for the job. You're going to say, well, no, Salina is just a great place to live. To all of our Salinas out here in the crowd, I'll challenge all 47,000 of us to embrace the new management and employees. And after their long 12-hour shift, they are the long shift. When they do get on, make sure that they become part of this community, not just people working here and, and you know, nothing to contribute you know, to our arts and entertainment and, and everything else that we do. If they have a problem, point them to the, to the right person. When I came here 20 years ago, one of the doctors told me, you'll be surprised, this is the biggest little town, biggest, sorry, busiest little town in America. And I found that to be true. I actually have to go to work on Mondays to get a rest. Uh, if you can't find something to do here in Salina, it's because you're not leaving the house. So get out, enjoy it, but come back to work on, on time. I might be flying on Monday. I'm going to ask Senator Moran to come up when I was told that he'd be speaking. I said, gosh, I'm going to bring Elton John up on the stage and have me you know, talk on the same stage. What do I do? I've never known such a humble doctor. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for, for coming. Thank you very much. Mayor, thank you for the chance to join you and leaders in this community. Uh, it's great to be in Salina. To the sponsors, welcome. Uh, welcome to your new home. That's very exciting for me to hear that uh, your family is moving here. And uh, I would echo what the mayor said about uh, this being a wonderful place to live and to work, uh, to, uh, to commit yourself to a, a quality of life that exists in Salina and in Saline County and in, in Kansas. So congratulations to you and your decision to be here. Uh, while I wouldn't expect you to believe anybody that works in Washington, D.C., I would tell you, knowing that I have no credibility, uh, you have made a great decision. And uh, this community will welcome you with open arms, and I'm sure you've experienced that. And you and your wife will find this to be a, a great place to live. And as, uh, as a senator representing this state, and particularly representing uh, Salina, I will do everything I can to make sure that your arrival and presence here, this company's growth here, is uh, supported in any way possible. And to the community leaders, to Tim Rogers and the Airport Authority, to the City uh, Commission and Council, County Commissioners and others, uh, congratulations on this success. I'm a, while I, we, all of us have no choice but to deal with all the issues that uh, present themselves in this country and around the world, a primary motivation that I've had in asking you to give me the chance to represent you in the nation's capital is a belief in rural America. What we have in Kansas and what we have in Salina, Kansas, is something that we need to take every step to preserve and protect. And that means we need to grow and bring new people to our town and create jobs. In many ways, it's called the American dream. And I want to make certain that the American dream is alive and well in rural America, in rural Kansas. And we are seeing the work that has gone in by this community to make sure that Salina has a brighter future. So my task is really simply to say congratulations and uh, to, to tell you how grateful I am for the efforts that go on in this community every day uh, to make sure that Salina and Saline County's future is bright and to create jobs for Kansans. 
And there is perhaps no better industry for us to grow in our state than aviation. Uh, aviation and aerospace is our history, but it's also our future. And uh, your presence, the presence of this company here in Salina, uh, demonstrates once again that we're on a path that has worked well for Kansans in aerospace and aviation and will work well for us in the future. And please know that uh, your company's growth is something that we as a community will work to make sure happens and be your, uh, your assistance in every way possible. So, Tim, the community, uh, all those that are here, my wife, if you take a picture, a photo of me with my shoes, my wife will say that those shoes have to go. Uh, this is the remnants of my broken ankle. And uh, so I have an excuse, although they're so much more comfortable than my dress shoes, I may use a broken ankle as an excuse for the remainder of my life. Uh, there was an aviation component to me breaking my ankle. I was climbing up and climbing down Camelback Mountain this summer, and I made it up, I just didn't quite make it down in the fashion that I hoped. But the helicopter, the aviation component of the story, the helicopter that was there flying above me, I thought was there to rescue me. No, it was TV5 Phoenix News filming me. <laughs> so there is video. Uh, one of my colleagues in Congress has seen the film, shown it to everyone, and the question becomes, how many people does it take to get Moran off a mountain? Uh, those of you, most of you know me, uh, know that I'm from the flatlands of Kansas and so probably should never try mountain climbing again. But the answer to that question is 13. 13 firefighters and Ernie and a wheel uh, bounced me down the mountain while the video was playing in the helicopter above me. So uh, please, in taking the photos today, we'll, we'll, you will prevent me from having another conversation with my wife about the informality of my footwear if you leave them out of the photos. Uh, delighted to be with you. This is a great day. We will do everything we can to uh, pursue success with you. And uh, I thanks, thank all the folks for being here to welcome this new company to Salina, Kansas. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. A short story about Jerry. And uh, it's clean. It's okay. And uh, it's, I uh, met Jerry probably about 33, 34 years ago. He was in the Kansas Senate uh, representing Hayes, Ellis County. And uh, I was up in the office of Senator Ben Benderson, and Ben said, I need, I'd like for you to meet somebody. And so Jerry was in the office right across from Ben, and uh, Tim, this is, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, you know, Jerry Moran, and, uh, First thing Jerry said to me, he said, uh, welcome, glad to meet you. What can I do to help you? What can I do to help? Jerry's taken that approach through his career in representing Kansans, you know, in, the con in Congress, as a member of Congress and a member of the U.S. Senate. And uh, when I talked to him about one vision, about the opportunity, he asked, what can I do to help? And that's when he made a phone call to Jim Sponger. That let Jim know he was welcome, one vision is welcome here. Jerry, thank you for the support that you provide all of us as Kansans in this state, and, uh, and I appreciate that very first greeting. What can I do to help? And thank you for all the help you provided us over the years. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thanks. I've been thoroughly impressed by Jim Sponger, and uh, just from the very beginning, realize Jim is the guy that can get things done. And he does it from his personal commitment uh, to all aspects of his business and his personal commitment. Uh, his reputation throughout the air, air, airline industry is impeccable. And it's a small, small group. Uh, you have a bad reputation within the industry, it gets, you, you get known for that. The good reputation is platinum, gold. It is just the currency of the industry, trust and reliability. So uh, Jim came in on his uh, site visit. Uh, Mitch Robinson and I were meeting uh, with Jim, and, uh, and uh, Jim also brought, this is the first time this has happened over these years, he brought his banking, his bankers, to the meeting to talk about Salina and the opportunity. 
he had shared so much of the, his, his one vision for this operation and, uh, and you're starting to see it emerge. These, you know, there is, the only limit to this business opportunity is the size of the building that we have now and it will soon fill up uh, with aircraft like this as Jim and his team hire new employees, bring it to our community, works with the industry uh, to bring these, these, these aircraft into the community. Jim, we're really thrilled to have you here. And uh, please come up and, uh, you know, kind of you know, share a little bit more of your one vision for this operation, this expansion. City, State, Senator Moran, thank you. Um, the airport, Tim, you can't get much better. They rolled the red carpet out the first time I met them. Most of the time, you go in the airport, after 9-11, you can't get in the airport. But this airport, I, I walked right up the steps and I was greeted, and it was great. Um, first time I saw this hangar, I was driving by, I had to stop. I said to myself, so we're going to be in this thing soon. That was about three years ago, but uh, we're here, and I'm excited. Um, most of the guys that know me, I know that uh, I put a lot of hours in. I sleep in hangers. Actually, I fall asleep at my desk, but uh, don't tell nobody. But uh, every hangar, especially an old hangar, has noises in the middle of the night. Sometimes they're pretty scary noises, noises. but uh, this hangar, uh, all good noises. So I can actually sleep without waking up going, what the heck was that? <laughs> and then go right back to work. But uh, you know, the city, the airport, um, to make this happen, unreal, unreal. I thank everybody. Um, now we got the opportunity, everybody with a One Vision shoot, shirt on, and soon have a One Vision shirt on. It's up to us, and I think, I think the team that we got here, we're going to make it. I know we're going to make it. Make it great. Um, communities, awesome. The restaurants, we could use a few, a few less of those, but uh, it's all right. I'll, I'll still fit in the tight places. <laughs> um, but no, overall, I'm glad to be here. Um, we're actually moving here. We're looking at houses as we speak. Um, so it's, it's great, it's great, and uh, we're going to make it happen. So, all right, Tim. Thank you, John. We'll take a couple pictures, like this, and then on the count of three, both ends will pull and give you close those scissors, okay? One, two, three.